All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 244, Mehmet Ali's Oriental Interpretation of Dreams, a somewhat obtuse title there. I'll explain a little bit about the, the misattribution uh, within the title as well as within its uh, preface as well. 179 pages, so it is full length. Link in the description of my edition on Amazon. <clears throat> Second and third links are to my books, blogs. This goes straight under the divination header. It's mostly dream interpretation. Now... It ascribes itself to a, a translation of an ancient text, like from Arabia. This sort of thing is fairly common within works from especially the mid-19th century, but basically any time from the end of the 1700s through the early 1900s, one of the ways, one of the gimmicks to sell a work like this, which essentially at the time was meant for especially young adults, it was sort of a parlor game sort of thing, it was a form of entertainment for a lot of people. One of the ways that you would sell it is you would ascribe it to a famous person. Like this has Otto, Otto von Bismarck's, you know, at the time well-known, uh, fortune teller, like the Wheel of Fortune, which is actually an oraculum. And it appears to be a little bit of a jab at the French because Napoleon's oraculum technically comes first. So it may be about that, like a little bit of, a, of the Germanic French sort of thing going on at the time. It's actually very tongue-in-cheek if that's the case. It's hilarious. <clears throat> there is an, an, a newer Napoleon's Oraculum from later on in the 1900s. That's the one I edited because it was the better version, but there are technically two. It has a lot of dream interpretation um, that it describes to, you know, this Mehmet Ali, basically. Although it doesn't actually re-mention it, but if you look at the dream interpretation, it's similar to the dream interpretation in other contemporary works. These works borrowed heavily from one another. Sometimes um, they changed meanings to be a little bit less obvious, but by and large, they're quite similar. I actually utilize dream interpretation often, including from this work. Uh, I find it to be appropriate, and, and you got to understand, some of the things in there are a little bit like antiquated, like like the idea of seeing wagons and stuff. Most people don't wouldn't dream of that. Maybe they'd dream of a car or something akin to it. Um, this comes from the middle of the 19th century, so technology has changed a little bit, the, the way in which people uh, uh, live their lives. But the first half of the book is dreams. Then it has uh, uh, Bismarck's Wheel of Fortune, which is an oraculum, um, a, a fairly good one. It has phrenology, tea leaf reading, some of these other things, prognostication for the days of the like, lucky and unlucky days to be born on and start things on. Um, moles, uh, the shape of the head, things of that nature. It's, it's, this is one of the longer fortune-telling works. It's also one of the better ones. Despite the obtuse title and despite the obvious gimmick to try to get it sold, as far as, as its occult content itself, it's no different from any of these other works, and it's more lengthy, more in-depth, and actually quite a good work altogether. I would highly recommend it if you're interested in dream interpretation. Um, again, keeping in mind that some of the mentions in there are not full, they're, they're a little bit more archaic, like, you know, 150 years is a long time to go by, um, the way in which people live their lives being now different. It's interesting, uh, but keep in mind it is parlor occultism. It's not the same as a grimoire, although there is one similarity. Grimoires, too, like the hermetic sort of cycle of works, they always ascribe themselves to like Moses, Solomon, and things like that, and Abraham, some of these biblical characters or, or figures from high antiquity like Alexander the Great sort of stuff, or some Roman emperor. Later on, you get some of the, the uh, last century leaders, you, you get the Napoleons and the Bismarcks and other people getting mentioned. Uh, you get a little bit of that. You also get the mention of certain alchemists and people like that, and so the, the attribution is wrong. But the content itself is still of value. In fact, hundreds of years from now, these works might be looked at similarly to how we look at grimoires now from hundreds of years prior to this particular era. Again, link in the description of my edition of this work on Amazon. Quite a good work, highly recommended, especially for its dream interpretation and a bit of phrenology if you're into that. Uh, second and third links to my books, blogs. There are other similar works in the divination category as well available. That's about all. Peace out.